I'm Carolyn. And I'm Tommy. Welcome to Good For You News. 2020 has been an interesting year in healthcare, and the entire U of L health team has gone above and beyond. Look at this beautiful artwork made by Nevia Greenwell. She's a licensed professional art therapist at Peace Hospital. The painting took 12 hours to complete and now hangs on the outside of the hospital for everyone to see. What I was hoping it would do is show that you know, we're all trying to be compassionate caretakers and healers and um, it was meant to give homage to the people who have passed away because of COVID-19 but also it is uh, indicative of a person who is trying to hold all of the pain and suffering and confusion that happens in our world right now in a very compassionate, caring way. Absolutely beautiful work. Now, lace up those sneakers and get ready to walk or run for a good cause. The Nightingale 5K will raise money for the Steve Bolton Scholarship Fund. Steve was a nurse at UofL Hospital for 25 years who died in a tragic hunting accident back in 2017. But this award, named in his honor, will allow nurses to expand their knowledge through professional conferences. The Advanced Practice Council at UofL Hospital put this fundraising event together. And because of the pandemic, it will be a virtual 5K this year, but we're still hoping that everyone will sign up and be a part of the power of you. It is an honor to be able to, one, uh, help the nurses that we work beside and along with hand in hand every day. And two, to honor Steve in such a way is very fulfilling and um, a great tribute to the wonderful human that he was. Let's do it, Tommy. I've got my running shoes ready. All right, confession time. I have definitely spent a little too much time on screen time during this pandemic, both for me and my daughter. I know, I know, it's not great. Did you know that 70% of adults report some sort of computer vision strain? It's overtaken carpal tunnel syndrome as one of the main computer-related issues. Dr. Patrick Scott fills us in on what we can do to help our eyes. Every 20 minutes, look at something that's 20 feet away. So when we do our eye exams, we always have the 20, 20 test, which is basically the 20 foot test, and look at something for 20 seconds. And what that does is it basically allows your eye to go back to look far away and help it to relax and slip back into its relaxed, basically, position or mode. Great advice. If you like surprises, you'll love this story. Michelle Bolden gave her husband, Brandon, the best Father's Day gift. She brought their baby boy, Zion, home after a 100 day stay in the neonatal intensive care unit. Brandon and Michelle thought Zion would be at the hospital for a few more days, so Brandon slept in on Father's Day. That's when Michelle got the good news Zion could come home. This is a Father's Day they'll never forget. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> I absolutely love that story. If you have a story that you would like to see here on Good For You News, we want to hear from you. All you have to do is email us at marketing at uoflhealth.org. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.